King Kong has an incredible history. The very words are kind of imprinted within the DNA of New York City and indeed globally. When you simply show someone a picture of a gorilla and a girl, everybody knows who that is. King Kong has is like the first of the really great music-driven feature films in the 1930s. King Kong is one of the great cautionary tales and something has made that story succeed since the early 1930s and be retold in so many forms. The Broadway production of King Kong is the most radical retelling of the story. This version of King Kong is different than what most people expect. It's not just a damsel in distress getting taken away by a big ape. We have a period story, but we're looking at it through a fairly contemporary lens. Everyone expects Kong to be this big brute who's violent and angry and just a kind of a machine with teeth that kills. When really he is a creature with a complex emotional inner life who's able to exhibit compassion, is able to help and make choices. And like any other living creature, wants to be free. We are all in this box that society has placed for us, whether it be the cage of Kong or like the cage that women have to play this certain role and we all have to bust out of our cages, we all have to uh, free ourselves. Every one of us has a little King Kong in our heart and every one of us has felt what it means to be misunderstood and to be an outsider. I'm really thrilled that King Kong, all these years later, can still really contribute to that question. What can this story show us about ourselves that will help make the world a better place? Come on.